What is up, my crazy scrubber? This is Joe King John 64, and welcome to another talk about Call of Duty World War II. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day, by the way. And also, make sure to leave a like. It's gonna let me know you guys really are enjoying these kinds of videos, and I appreciate you know your like, pretty much showing me that you guys want me to keep on going and everything. So I, I appreciate that. So, anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about Call of Duty World War II. Is it gonna save? the Call of Duty franchise. I've already seen many videos about this and many people are saying that it will. Uh, to be honest, I think we've been saying this for the past, I don't know how many years, I think more than, ever since like Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, the debacle, pretty much Call of Duty Ghosts was the pretty much the worst game of the whole damn series. And afterwards, every time a new Call of Duty came out, we all kept saying like, oh, well this game saved the Call of Duty franchise. Well, this, you know, it's, it's a never ending story at this point, you know, because I do remember Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, a lot of YouTubers did the same thing. Black Ops 3, a lot of YouTubers that said, said the same thing, and I said the same thing too. Uh, but that was before I found out it was going to be another like uh, exosuit kind of style game, you know, jumping around like 10 feet high. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, we're pretty much still here. The franchise is still going. And also, um, not so long ago, maybe like a year ago, uh, Activision did announce that Call of Duty, the Call of Duty franchise will be forever. You know, it's going to last, like, for, like, millions of years, apparently. So, we're going to have, like, Call of Duty um, 99 or something. I don't know how many Call of Duty is going to be releasing. But uh, it's going to be one every single year from now on. So, um, but we're still asking this question. Will the next Call of Duty save the Call of Duty franchise? And in my opinion, I think it's just going to keep on going. <laughs> you know, but another thing is that the, the name itself, though, Call of Duty World War II, is a great marketing strategy. Because, one... Battlefield 1 is just called Battlefield 1. And already everybody knows about that game though, but like if you get like a casual or maybe like a new person going into gaming, they're going to be asking like what's Battlefield 1 and why is it just called Battlefield 1? You don't know nothing much about it, right? And I already talked about this a long time ago, but I'll mention it again cuz people haven't seen that video, but uh you know, people think the Battlefield 1 is just another Battlefield 1 game, like Battlefield game like a like a modern time, right? And when they ask about what's Call of Duty, oh, look at this, Call of Duty World War II. People are going to be acting all surprised, like, hey, we're going to play in the old school times, you know, old school weapons and everything, and we're going to jump in, into the ship of that one. So I think it's going to be a good marketing strategy by uh, by Activision. They, they did do a good move and everything. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how many sales does this next game is going to do. Because... To be honest, just the name itself, it's going to be pretty much pumping numbers out there. And it's going to be uh, looking successful at some point. So, uh, because we already got a lot of people jumping ship. You know, all those people that talk negative about, you know, boots on the ground, they're going to jump ship already to this next game. They're going to be like, oh, I was wrong all along and, you know, blah, blah. And, and they're going to correct themselves in the future. So, uh, I'm telling you, maybe the next Call of Duty will be the most successful one. And uh, it's going to be... Because of the great marketing strategy, because of uh, you know the title itself, and also Sledgehammer Games hasn't done that bad to be honest. Uh, but Modern Warfare 3, though, ever since they did release that game, that one had like some laggiest problem, like some lag, like it was horrible. And then in Advanced Warfare, the problem was that they um, you know kind of nerfed every single gun except for two, which was the Bal and the ASM1, and those were the only two guns that you can use in the whole game. I'm hopeful they don't go through the same problem on this, this next game, because if they were to do that, that kind of kills the vibe, man, knowing that you, already, you can only use two guns in the whole damn game, because you know they're good. That's the problem with some persons like me. Like, I do best class setups, I find out which are the best weapons, and once I find out what are the best weapons, I mean, I cannot use another one. So, um... Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2 for me, you can use several weapons, and it was just amazing, and I enjoyed the games, I played the shit out of them, I had so many hours on them, but, uh, you know, in Advanced Warfare and uh, Black Ops 3, I kind of, like, uh, you know, just settled down with a single, single weapon, I was, like, already getting bored, so hopefully they do know how to balance their nerf and balancing their weapons and everything, because if they were to just stick with two weapons like they did in Advanced Warfare, you know, the BAL and the ASM-1, then we're pretty much screwed out, screwed out of the game, because you know world war ii has very few automatic weapons so that might be a case that we can have to work with so uh, what do you guys think about call of duty world war ii is it going to save the call of duty franchise or what you know let me know in the comment section that will be great so my opinion is yeah the call of duty franchise is going to keep on going forever pretty much so 
that is it, people. If you guys want to hear more Call of Duty World War II, you know, talk or more information, more details in the future, the leaks. Uh, hopefully, the leaks come out too because I already want to post some up here in my channel. So, uh, that is it, people. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty World War II.